did it. I don't know if you told Kyle about our, our, our episode a couple of weeks ago. Or that was last week already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I kind of just came in here raw with the camera and that's what I feel is the most exciting. Like looking around here, I just had a, you know, work a contraption in the bathroom. I'm not even sure if I, I probably didn't flush it correctly. So there's stuff going on in the back end. I was getting nervous when I'm talking about the construction stuff. Okay. Um, but I am super inspired by what we're sitting in right now. And Project My Life is, is, is very simple. And we've talked about it before and both of you guys have, have tried to help me with my personal brand and, and telling my story. But I feel like it sums it up with Project My Life and your life being this kind of ongoing project that you're always working on with ups and downs. Mm. And to get through it, you, you have to find some, some happiness. And entrepreneurship and bodybuilding are just a few of the things that I find super intriguing, obviously. So when I connected with you, I don't even know how, it was your first company, years and years ago, we were doing Project My Life. Right? Uber. Uber, yeah. you were working with what? Yeah, that was Uber. Yeah. So Project My Life started then, and I was like, all right, cool. I want to capture this, and I want to document a series of my life, and I want to you know, promote it, and I want to push it out, and I want to create something with it. So you came into your studio, all like, maybe 18, 19, no, I'm just kidding. But Uber Motif? Yeah, and you were 20, early 20s, right? Early 20s, 23, 20, yeah. 23, yeah. 23 years old. Yeah. I mean, I, I was a little bit arrogant, so maybe I saw myself in you, like, he's, just, he's a little fucking arrogant, right? <laughs> but it, looking back, it's like, no, you just had a vision, and you were, you, were, you were confident with who you were and your product, and you were, you were selling it as, as a businessman but very young and I found that very intriguing and now like being friendly with you for this, you know, yeah. this, this, years. This, this bridge of years and, and seeing you in town and, and watching you, you know, do your thing, um, I'm intrigued by your story. So what I wanted to do is capture this in its roots right now raw and talk to you a little about who you are, what we're sitting in, who this guy is, that guy, and, and, <laughs> and why you're doing it in Somerville, which is, crazy right now. Somerville is like, you know, very, very up and coming and it's no surprise why you're here. So that big ramble is Project My Life and what it's all about. Now I want you, both of you guys, you can do it in unison, which would be kind of cool. No. Or very cool. <laughs> no, we're not. How about no? <laughs> very right, cool. Um, so somehow we need an intro and sound bite to say, this is Project My Life, Steve. So I want you to do that. And that's part of the footage. I want you to look in the camera. All right. Look deeply into the camera. <laughs> <laughs> Go for it. This is Project My Life, and my name is Steven Chiochi. Good? Nailed yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. Perfect. You're, you're perfect. Like, here, you're good. Go ahead and make out like Same right. thing. Just, yeah, well, I don't want you to say uh, Steve, I want you to say no, your name. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not, no, I'm only a chief too at the markets and stuff. Gotcha. Right? Yeah. gotcha. Uh, this is Project My Life, and I'm Kyle Marino. Perfect. So, let's dive right into it. Where are we right now? And I want to talk about this place and then kind of work backwards on your story. So where are we with this, you know, thing in the background and these the sheetrock and the wires and what are we doing? Yeah, we painted in uh, an hour and yeah. 15 minutes. That's <laughs> love it. I just saw it on Facebook and I'm, I'm a little like fucking pissed that you're taking it down. I think it's a cool <laughs> feature, but I get why. It's gonna get covered up. Yeah, I get it's, it. It's a little obvious of what's to come. It's an you Easter know? egg for uh, we have something coming that's for everything cool. else. Well, what does two inches on mean? That can mean a multiple, multiple different things, right? Yeah, we can get to that. Uh, we're sitting in Cheech's own coffee company. This is the home base for pretty much everything we've done for the last two years. Yep. Um, we hit some, you know, we had some interesting options over the last year as far as where we could take this coffee company, and we listened to our customers and we listened to, you know, some, I guess, uh, you know, people that we respect a lot, and took all that information and decided instead of going the route of building like a mass production facility for cold brew uh, we would create a, a home for our business a, a showcase for our products and um, you know a good place for customers to engage with us and see what the culture of this company 